I'm thrilled to be here with Cheryl to welcome the nominees for the 89th Academy Awards. And I'm especially honored to help announce this year's nominees for Best Picture. Arrival. Fences. Hacksaw Ridge. Hell or High Water. Hidden Figures. La La Land. Lion. Manchester by the Sea. Moonlight. There you have it. The nine films for Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards. The nominees were announced about an hour ago, and there are a couple of Canadians in the running for the top categories. ETalk's Tracy Melchor is joining us now. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. How are you? I am doing well because I'm a huge fan of La La Land. Yes. Um, okay, let's start with that category first. We saw the nominees there. Any surprises for you as a May who have been left out or who okay, was well, in that pile? Um, well, I mean, surprises, I, it, it was great to see, like you said, La La Land. La La Land picked up 14 nominations. That ties the record set by Titanic and going way back to All About Eve. Um, and, of course, uh, nominations for our Canadian Ryan Gosling and for our non-Canadian but very talented Emma Stone. She uh, She's nominated in the Best uh, Actress category. And um, uh, as you can see... Uh, Best film, Manchester by the Sea, Casey Affleck, um, Lion with Nicole Kidman, uh, Moonlight. I'm so glad that was up in the best film category. One of my favorite movies from the Toronto International Film Festival last year. Uh, the director of Moonlight, Barry Jenkins, is also up for a nomination. As Also, Naomi Harris, who was in that uh, movie, and Mahershala Ali. So, you know, lots of, um, lots of good nominations for Moonlight. Okay. Uh, snubs, in your view, were there any? Yes, Taraji P. Henson for Hidden Figures. Yeah. Uh, her co-star Octavia Spencer was nominated. Uh, also, I mean, if you if we're going to go with a, a Canadian and, and loyalty to our Canucks, uh, Ryan Reynolds was really pushing for a nomination, both for himself and for the movie Deadpool. I didn't think that was going to happen, but I'm sure he would consider that a snub. A surprise for me was um, Justin uh, Timberlake's song, I uh, Can't Stop the Feeling, uh, from the movie Trolls which some called the worst song of 2016, huh. is, is up uh, for an Oscar nomination. Uh, also, another Canadian connection, um, Alessia Cara, who sang the song from, uh, from oh gosh, Alessia Cara from Brampton, Ontario. Uh, she sang the song from Moana, of course, it was voiced by uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And the song that she sang was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who, of course, um, fr is from Hamilton fame. So we could see Alessia Cara performing at the Academy Awards. Who knows? Okay, so you mentioned Canada. Yes. Ryan Gosling for yes. La La Land. Mm -hmm. And, um, and Denis, Denis Villeneuve, Villeneuve. Yeah. For, for Arrival. I mean, no Fantastic. surprise there. He, he is a... He is um, an Oscar favorite, and Arrival was uh, an incredible movie. Um, didn't see that ending coming. No spoilers. Uh, and Amy Adams, great performance. So we could talk about maybe Amy Adams. That was a snub that she was nominated for her performance in Arrival. Okay. Um, for those who have not a chance to had the chance to absorb all of this. Yes. Based on what you've seen so far, Tracy, has Oscar kind of ended its diversity drought with what we're seeing in terms of the nominees this year? I, I mean, yes. You know, like I said, uh, we have um, Octavia Spencer and uh, we, uh, Viola Davis, Denzel Washington, Naomi Harris from Moonlight. Uh, we also have um, Mahershala Ali and Barry Jenkins, the director of Moonlight. So, yes, uh, I mean, it's definitely more diverse than it is uh, last year, but the fact that we still have to be having these conversations huh. proves yeah. that across the board, uh, Hollywood definitely needs more diversity. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have a little bit of time left, so I'm going to ask you, in that best picture category, sure. La La Land, Moonlight, Manchester by the Sea, Arrival, Fences, Lion, Hidden Figures, Hawk, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, where do you put your money? You know what? I mean, because I know you're a fan. La La Land, I think, is going to get it. But okay. I, if I was a betting woman yes. and I was my <laughs> choice, it would be Moonlight. Really? Yeah, it would be Moonlight. It's just, I mean, the story of, uh, you know, a young African-American man coming of age in a, in a very poor city in Florida. Uh, it's not a story that we see a lot um, in, the, in, the, in the black community. And I feel like it's a story that needs to be told, a conversation that needs to be had. So with, with that kind of um, uh, cultural uh, relevance, I feel like it's an important movie and I would like a lot more people to see it. Okay, it's mm -hmm. on my list. Okay. Uh, actually, about 
I have about six <laughs> no, movies to see. The list must be long. The <laughs> list is really long now. <laughs> and the Academy Awards, of course, go down February 26th on CTV, hosted by Mr. Jimmy Kimmel. And we look forward to that. So exciting. All right, Tracy, have a great day. Thanks you for too. being with us. Good seeing you.